All right, guys, it's the most, no, it is the most wonderful time of the year, but it ain't Christmas just yet, so you don't get your boys singing with you. It's the NFL season, and we got football. I'm loving every single week of it. And once again, I've partnered up with the DraftKings Sportsbook to give all new customers a great offer. Bet $5 or more on any game this weekend, and we'll give you $200 in bonus bets instantly. Everybody's an expert at everything. Now you have an opportunity to show it at the DraftKings Sportsbook. And guys, we ain't stopping there. Every week in October, you can take advantage of one of our great offers. So go right now to the DraftKings Sportsbook. Bet $5 or more on any game this weekend, and we'll give you $200 in bonus bets instantly. All you got to do, use my promo code DCTV. Bet $5 or more and get $200 in bonus bets instantly at the DraftKings Sportsbook. Guys, it's easy. DCTV, bet five or more and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Hey, the DraftKings Sportsbook is where it's at. Because you know what? We got a crown. Crown's yours. Let's go. <laughs> it's my bill. Brother, hey. You don't have new bill, yes? I never got this one. So, and honestly, and honestly, and honestly, you, it's heavy. Who gives me my bill? <laughs> like, just relax, brother. Everybody, hey, look, I even got one red. Don't touch this. Please, don't touch it. Ah, okay, okay. He covered me. Belly. No, I don't. My belly looks good. Look at this. How you wear your belt? Like this or like this? How you wear your belt? I feel over there. You sleep on this one? All right, guys. Islam, thanks for checking in with your boy again, man. I appreciate it. I'm here with the champ, Islam Mahachev. And I'm here with this new belt. It's beautiful, man. Yeah. I'm very proud of you. But I'm not going to be... Look I'm, nice more on my... No? You want it back? Yes. Please. Please. <laughs> I've been having it for five minutes, just a little bit. Oh, so heavy. It is very heavy. It's heavier than the original belts. Original? This one is original, bro. No, no, this is new belt. This is original. Your belt is fake Old school now, bullshit now. Yeah, it's yeah, like, your, it's antique belt. Antique your, belt. You know, your this is, belt is fake now, bro. This is original. No. You got to fight. You it. have gold watch, bro. Yes, I have, I have gold, gold watch. Gold. But you have to fight a tough guy this weekend. So okay. you, got, you got that belt. You better hold on to it tight. That dude's again, tough. Again, bro. I just beat him again. You just beat him again? Of course. It was a tough fight, though. Yeah, it was, it was a tough fight. I agree. He's a good fighter. He's a... Strong, you know. For this guy, if you want to stop him, just you have to turn off the light. Like knock him out? Or knock him out, make him sleep, or he's going to fight. You fight keep rise. trying. If he never give up. He I cannot say this about Oliveira, but about Volkanovski, I know. He will fight. You think Oliveira would have given up? Yeah. But this guy won't? No. I, I never see. But he weighs hundred. He weighed one hundred and eighty pounds the other day. Before he, when he got the fight, he weighed one eighty. But you can do this too. But he's big guy. You know what's kind of crazy? The other uh -huh. day when we were talking, I was joking. I said you weigh two hundred. Uh -huh. That's not true. Now everybody thinks you weigh two hundred pounds. Never, brother. You never weigh two hundred. I am not on your side and Habib's side, but I'm Habib never weighed in two hundred when he was fighting one fifty-five. Habib was like one seventy-five. All right heavy. now, who do you think? Habib weight? Uh, My boy, 183, 184. At the most, Habib's in phenomenal shape. Now, yes. He's in because phenomenal last shape. Last month, he's training hard <laughs> with us. He's That's training hard. hard. Dude, so you're fighting Volkanovski again this weekend. Yeah. Last fight was in Perth. This fight is in Abu Dhabi. Now the crowd will be on your side. Do you feel like the crowd's reactions played a part in the way people viewed the fight? Like he was actually... So many thought he won. But if you watch it, you won the fight. Do you feel like the crowd played a part in that? Of course. All his, he missed punch or he landed all the crowd. Wow, they go like this, you know. That time, everything on his side. Now, like, exactly just change everything on my side. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this time I want to finish all this. What the people say, what the people talking. After this fight, I don't want to give some questions to the people. Do you think that you overlooked him last time? Because when we were on that interview, 
you, you, we were talking about his wrestling. You laughed at him. You said he was too small. Do you feel like you might have underestimated him a little bit? Not underestimated, but I'm surprised his wrestling skills, his grappling skills, but I'm not underestimating because he's a champion. That moment he's a pound for pound king. That's why it's no one, like not anyone can be pound for pound. He said that he's got to finish you this weekend. He said that he's here to finish you. He said that he has no time to show you respect. He's got to go out there and he's got to finish you. When you hear Alexander Volkanovsky saying these things, speaking in those types of absolutes, what does that make you feel? It makes you feel the same, brother. Everybody from my last how many points, everybody wants to finish me, kill me, <laughs> do something, but I won't always. He believes it. I, I looked in his eyes and he believes. How? Oh. He believes it. He <laughs> believes that he has to finish you this weekend. But and he I feels don't like give oh, any chance, zero chance for this. That he finishes you. Of course, but who is who can finish me? No one. No lightweight, no welterweight, no one can finish me. He feels like that's his path to victory. He said that he kind of feels like Alexander Volkanovsky when you hear him, when you hear him, he feel because of such a Brother, short notice. Last first fight, I control all this fight. Just he won just last minute. That's it. Why he not finish me all this first fight? Because of what? Because the people in the Australia or or, or <laughs> brother here it's everything is different, everything on my side. That's why I want to finish him. Mm -hmm. So when you when you think of Volk, and you think of him taking this fight on twelve days notice, it does release the pressure of many don't expect him to win. He can just be free in there. Do you feel like he's even more dangerous? But I don't think he's a dead. Just my opinion, I want to be honest. My opinion, this guy come for the money. They give him good check and that's it. Really? And he's still, if he lose again, he's still champion his division. That's it. And he fight in January. But he don't have some problem to come, make some good money and go back to Australia. That's it. You don't and beginning that. his training camp, finally. <laughs> you don't believe that, man. You don't believe that he's here just to get paid. Brother, 100%. Why he come to Abu Dhabi? Just make money. That's it. I think then I'll give him a good check. <laughs> You're crazy. This is true, brother. This is true. This is my opinion. Your opinion. Yeah. But Islam... When we, when we look at you and we look at Volkanovski and you guys are both so dominant, fans get excited as they should. But when you say he's here to get a check, I mean, that kind of like, kind of discredits him a little bit. But I told you, this is my opinion. Maybe someone think else, um, but he don't have any risks, you know. He just came, he don't put his belt, nothing. If he lose, people going to talk again. This guy come from other divisions, small, like like this, and that's it. So it's a no-win situation for you? For me, it uh, doesn't matter. Alex, Charles, Gaethje, who is going to be in front of me? How many days, where, I just want to defend my belt. Yeah. Because I like my look. It's, look... Really nice on me. It does. It looks really nice on you. You, you, you have dominated the division, and I believe myself that a part of the reason everybody thought the fight was so close was because none of your fights are ever close. So when they yeah. see someone having success in any way, shape, or form, they feel like, "Oh, this guy's beating Islam." Yeah, yeah. Because I am not smashing there as That's, much as you yeah, smashed yeah. the rest of these guys. That's why the people are talking. But when I watch the fight. Again, I just see I won all this round. Just three I, or four? What do you think you won? Three 100 or four? 100%. My opinion, I won the four rounds. Mm -hmm. And I just give him chance, not last round. I just give him chance to last minute, and that's it. I actually got somebody, I got a text from somebody yesterday saying that they thought you won four or five rounds. Somebody very into this sport thought you won four. Brother, five you rounds. can watch. I won 
four rounds and four minutes. You can watch again. You have some analytics. Can you do this? Watch? Analytics? Yeah. Well, you're using big words now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you smart guy now? You coming for my job? I you trying to take my job now? No, no, I don't want you make. <laughs> you trying to take my job now? You use a word the like analytics? again and make, Oh, you want me make, to give you my analytics? Yeah, report? yeah. Make people know. Make people know. Yeah. I'm not doing that. What? <laughs> The fight happened already. I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to finish your job. Second fight is going to be different. You think you'll dominate? Yes. Do you think that you can actually use your wrestling and your top pressure in the way that you normally do against him? Are there different ways you have to approach taking him down? No, bro. Nothing. It's not a surprise. Everybody know my skills. Everybody know my wrestling. I will use my wrestling, take him down, hold him. And this time I'm going to make him tired there and finish him. When, that, when Charles Oliveira fell out, did you think it would be Volk? Because Dustin Poirier said he said yes to the fight too. Did you think it would be a Poirier or a Gaethje? Or did you expect it to be Alexander Volkanovsky? Because uh, Dustin said he said yes, I'm down. Honestly, no. I think they give me Gamrot or Gaethje or someone. But i really happy when they say... Volkanovski is going to be again because soon or later it's this fight have to happen again. Because you think he'll keep beating the 45 pounders? Because people talking, people want, all the fans want, that's why. Do you, does it bother you that people think that the fight was so close? Make me, yeah, make me a little bit nervous because I don't want to some close fight with anyone. Yeah. I want to mull everybody. You want to dominate? Yes. Yeah. What, uh, like I did uh, uh, all the time. And now you, you're talking about going to 170. Um, Alexander told me that he wanted to take this fight now because it feels like the division's moving, right? Like, so Charles is in line. Poor, uh, Gaethje's in line after winning the BMF championship. And now you're talking about going to 170. How closely are you, like, watching Covington and Edwards after you, say, you defend your belt this weekend? Uh, I will be there. I will be sit close. You going to, to Las Vegas? Yes, I have to watch this fight, and maybe from these two guys, someone called me. I will be ready. In who the first time, I I don't know who is win, but I hope Colby win because he wants this fight. He Colby really wants that fight. He keeps talking. Yeah. He said they Colby says talking. that you're only talking though. He said you won't do it. Uh, why? I beginning to say about this. That's why I want Colby win because I never say uh, Leon say about this something. That's why I think this Colby is gonna be a big fight for the fans for everybody, and uh, we will show money and big money. Pay per view, yeah. pay per view. Pay per view. You love pay per view, huh? No, I don't love. You love pay per view. You're a rich guy now. No, honestly, in Australia, brother, we don't have good. Really? Yeah, because Australia time is changed like. Too many things, man. I can, I can I borrow some money? Brother, you I, got pay-per-view money now? I don't care about money. You, you know, but I have a rich guy with me. If I need money, I ask him. Who? Habib. Habib? <laughs> Habib's that rich guy, huh? Habib's that rich guy. Still rich. Champ, before I let you go, I would like to have you say to me the truth about the United States wrestling team this year. Be honest. Be honest. You did not expect this. You, when we were texting, when we were all texting, we put four guys in the finals, and you guys all said, watch tomorrow. USA has four silver medals. Instead, instead no, this we is had three, said. No, you guys said. You guys said we'd have four silver medals. Instead, Brother, we had four world champions. Brother, you did not expect this. Say, US team is good, but... They're the best. Brother, we won the world championships. You? Brother, please listen. If you calculate like, all medals from Dagestan, Dagestan beat but it doesn't all matter. wars, it doesn't matter. brother. But dude, Dagestan dudes are... So first off, you guys are cheating. You're, right. wrestling for, you're wrestling for the team with no name. The team with no name. You guys are... Dagestan guys are wrestling for brother, the team with no name. you talking about the gold medal. God, the talk, God, Dagestan guys are wrestling for Azerbaijan. Dagestan guys are wrestling for all these countries. That's not fair. Because the competition inside the... Brother, the, if you ask... People come to Dagestan, they even don't Number one the, team. 
How can you say world that? Championship. But how can you say that whenever we're world champions? When you send your kids, what we have happened? five world champions. When you send your team to the Dagestan, like wrestling team, what happened? Please, brother, don't talk <laughs> about wrestling because Dagestan beat everybody in this. Islam, world there are ten weight classes. We had six world champions. How did Dagestan win more world championships than us? Because, but calculate, brother. Everybody from Dagestan won, won that. More one. medals. More medals. But more, we won more world titles. More golds. No, that's not true. This is true. Bro. You can check, brother. You it's can check. Absolutely. And bullshit. Russian guys from like two years without the international international experience. They brother look. My boy is the coach now. Gatsalov is the head coach. Yeah, Gatsalov is it? just changed now. It's it's gonna just go up, up, brother. That's why next, not next Olympic year. game. They get, they don't get to wrestle again. Yeah, so crazy. that's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. Brother, but it's good for you, brother. U.S. have some chance. We've won two world championship team titles in a row, bro. Yeah. You guys did say, though, oh, watch tomorrow. USA get four silvers. Instead, four champions. This is just first day, brother. The, the world championship, three days. <laughs> After the nobody from U.S. Yeah, we did. See the gold medal. Did you see whenever Kyle How Snyder... The, did you see when Kyle Snyder beat the boy for third place? You see when Kyle Snyder beat your boy for third place? Kyle Snyder. Kyle see, Snyder beat you your boy for third place. Tadridino beat Kyle Snyder. No, but did you see how Kyle 12, Snyder beat Sajulayev for third? 12 0. 12 0, brother. Hey, you guys all saw Kyle Snyder but beat But don't talk about Sajulayev. Don't talk about the Snyder. But just Dagestan team, brother. <laughs> you have to be. You have to say this is. I thought it was a good one. I, you know who I thought would be tough? The 133 pounder. But then. Yeah, my boy, who Vitor Rujal got yeah, him. Really he good. get that guy's good, huh? He's a Russian guy. Yeah, I know. I know. But, but also he's from Russia. Bro. <laughs> so y'all take him too, guys. It's not my hot tail fights. UFC 294 against Alexander Volkanovski. Let me get that, please. Uh, yes. It feel it feel nice on me. UFC 294, Alexander Volkanovski. Make sure you guys hit that pay per view buy button. Watch my man. The finish don't championship miss. Brother. Don't blink. Couple more slips. And we will be there. Oh, you promote guy now? <laughs> you promote guy now? Buy pepper you, pay money, don't <laughs> watch guy. the... Islam Mahachev. Thanks for checking in, champ. Thank You're you, the man. Thank you. Good to see you, man.